We have, um, we've only done maybe eight interviews with parents and kids, but there we've sampled low income, medium, and high income um, to look at that. One of the differences from other people's work, like Morgan Ames, has shown that um, concerns about overuse tend to be kind of a middle and upper class problem because low income parents are focused on getting food on the table, getting their children home safely through their neighborhood and things like that. So I think it's really value important to be talking to those families. I think the questions will be different and the values and priorities. I think that's a great area for more work. Um, in terms of parents negotiating with each other, that's, yeah, so we have a study on that going on right now where we're looking at over the, across the 100 plus interviews. Um, all of them talked about, all of them who had a partner or even those who had an ex-partner talked about the role of the partner in some way or another, um, regardless of whether we asked for it. And we definitely found some challenges for parents, especially ex-divorced -par uh, parents or single parents, um, about negotiating with their partners. So typically one parent, often the mother, takes on more of a responsibility of sharing photos, right? And it's actually a lot of work to be the one taking the photos, sharing them, deciding what to share. But they also sometimes had disagreements about what is appropriate to share. None of them talked about this being as a, like a major sort of problem in their relationship, but the question of negotiating what's okay to share and both implementing it is definitely an interesting challenge. Yeah, those are good questions. Yeah. Yeah, so I found this very interesting. Um, and there was a comment earlier that I couldn't quite hear about abuse of appropriate, uh, you know, appropriate sharing. In the, uh, for example, you know, your discussion of the autism and what's appropriate to share or not. And I wonder if you could tease apart or help me understand a little bit about uh, the difference between you know, whether it's appropriate to share and whether it actually should be shared. Uh, in the sense that I can imagine uh, for some of the participants, it actually is a therapeutic value to be able to share, uh, even though maybe 